Well, good morning everybody. And so, after two films made yesterday, I thought I'd make another one today to complete this series. And I had a lot of very disturbing dreams during the night. And I woke up with a kind of heavy, heavy feeling. I think of my four smokes the evening before. Seems to keep me about as balanced as I can hope to be. And my partner asked me a question, how are you feeling this morning? And it's like, hmm. It's funny sometimes how when you're asked a question, how it can affect you. At least that's what I find. So I'm just lying there in the bed. I can see the sunlight streaming in through the window and I felt like, hmm, be nice to go for a swim in the sea this morning before it clouds over. I know all the feelings about the situation with the mum and the sense of powerlessness in the face of dealing with these institutions hit me as it does every day. And it's like my mum's mantra for when I was a kid, count your blessings comes in. And I'm reminded of the Monty Python I started the film with yesterday. Always look on the bright side of life. Do 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 do. And looking on the bright side of life, here we have this wonderful tree straight ahead of us. And it looks like any other tree, but it's a very, very special tree. So let's just go and say hello. This is actually ginkgo biloba tree. That's right, this is the plant that my mum has been having a tincture of to help stem the cognitive decline. The leaves are most unusual shapes. If you have looked there, they look like little miniature fans. It's got a whole special story attached to it, this tree. It's not something that you find growing generally in different places. And this very much is the Sydney story. It's like there's such simple, basic plants that I'm used to being able to find up north. Can I find them down here? Well, no, or hardly at all. But then you get things like that wonderful ginkgo biloba. And yes, I've made a tincture out of it. And yes, I've made tea out of it. It's great. So that's more looking on the bright side of life, isn't it? And then, of course, I have that oppressive heavy weight of well today's the day to get the last of my mum's things out of the home and how's that going to feel and also today's another day I'm going to go to the hospital and visit her take her in some soup which I'm pretty sure she's going to like she liked the blackberry and apple pie and Cornish clotted cream that I took a couple of days ago and uh, yeah, so gosh, I still don't think I really know the answer to how I'm feeling. A lot. That would be a good answer, wouldn't it? Yeah. I guess probably the answer is how am I feeling is I'm feeling a lot. Yeah, that's pretty good. I can live with that. And so I've taken you on this walk months before. That would have been in spring or very early summer. And now here we're doing it in late summer. And we'll look at the colour of these leaves on this tree. It's like a little bit ahead of the game. As you can see, something to turn delicious shades of reddish brown. So I guess what I'm doing really is accepting what comes which is what life's all about isn't it really and there's another one moments of glorious acceptance because i have been picking these little blackberries in acklington in july i've had to wait till the very end of august before they're ready you can see just a few ready there so i have been picking i need to go pick some more blackberries good blood purification medicine medicine for the brain a lot of good things going on there and I'm feeling like I'm enjoying, actually, 
having the capacity to make a film for a change. This feels really nice. I just have been so oppressed by the situation. I've not been able to do this for a long time. Just haven't had the energy. So something's going in the right direction. If I'm able to do this, that's really pretty cool. And then here we have this wonderful plant called the bamboo plant. Now I've been picking these leaves and making them into tea because I've discovered that although horsetail contains a huge amount of silica, 8%, and that is certainly the best plant in the part of the world I was living in before that you can use to make a tea to increase the silica in the body, which is very good for the bones and the teeth. Well, it just so happens I discovered, reading Green Med Info, I've mentioned them before, this is supposed to contain an alarming 72% silica, so even more silica for those most important body parts. Made of tea, again the same story, if you make it mild it's absolutely delicious, if you make it too strong it really is overpowering. So I can heartily recommend, if you live in a place like I do, where there's bamboo, bamboo in England sounds a bit crazy, but there it is, that's a really good thing to make into tea. Get a few leaves, pour boiling water over, and leave for a few minutes and drink. That's it really. And being an INFJ, what I do in this situation is I've, I do it so automatic I don't even know I'm doing it. You see, when I'm lying in bed, then I'm very much aware of my internal processes, which are really hard for me to cope with and understand. But as soon as I step outside, then I can extend my awareness into my environment, which is called extroverted sensing. And this is one of the main reasons I like to go into nature and go to the sea, because I'd love to extend my senses out of what's going on for me internally and be aware of what's going on outside. And I love to just pay attention to this very interesting hole. Big enough for a badger, I'd reckon. And listening to the bird song. And just letting go of any concerns and preoccupations. That's good. And I guess that is something I've learnt through all this, is that the mind's capacity to play tricks and games and to engage in doubts and worries Oh, it's legendary, isn't it? So this is my chance to ask you something I wanted to ask in the previous two films but couldn't find the words. How are you? What's going on in your life at the moment? How are things with you? And if you're experiencing challenges, you have my empathy, my compassion, my love and support. And if life's a doddle, well, good luck to you, whichever way it is. So I would be interested to hear how you are, because that is one of the other things, is that it's becoming increasingly difficult for me to keep in touch with people I know and love outside the immediate situation I'm in. And I do love to hear from you and hear how you're doing. So there you are, that's my open invitation. Very much enjoying the bird song this morning. That's lovely. And I think that's actually what it was I had to say. So I'll pause and say goodbye for now. <laughs>